Hey guys, guess what? We just got a Facebook. So, you know what you should do? Go add us. So, add us. We love people who add us. And went on our wall, we love that. It's www.facebook.com slash CMR Productions with a Z. Yeah. Click add us, and that's awesome. Exciting. So, if you add us, I'll be like, heart. Okay, this is Christine. Um, welcome to book club episode four. Is there anything new in Twilight? So this week on Friday, we're getting a new Eclipse trailer. Excited. So let me tell you something, a story. I, okay, not a story. I know it was like, we're gonna talk about City Glass today, but on Fortunamente, City Glass at my house. Whoa, I don't wanna say that with an accent. At my house. And I am not at my house. I am at school. I don't want to do a video without being able to hold up my book and be like, I like this quote in my book. And look at the beautiful book. You know, yeah, I do that. I, I'll feel lost, you know. I also know that I said, next time I'm going to talk about the host. But I'm sorry, I'm actually going way off my thing here. But someone commented and they reminded me about this amazing, amazing book. And I'm sorry I'm inserting it right in between like I'm going through a series, The Mortal Instruments, which is an awesome series. But I just reread this book and it's fresh in my mind. And I'm like, I want to do a book club on this book. Let me introduce this book because it is so awesome. Really, really good. Like this is a book where you start reading and you're like, I can't stop reading this until I get to the end. And then you get to the end and you're like, what the hell? It's over? And then you can get the next one. So this book is called Poison Study, and it's by Maria V. Snyder, and it's one of a trilogy, but I'm not going to go through the trilogy right now. I am going to go through this one right now, and maybe eventually we will get to the trilogy, but first I have to obviously do the things I said I was going to do after I do this one. If I'm still not home, I might just jump to the host after this. But I will get to City of Glass because that's like one of my favorite, favorite books. Like if I had a list of favorite books, it would be like The Seventh Harry Potter, Angels and Demons, The Host, all the Twilight books, this book, and City of Glass. I have other ones, but they're not as the tippity top like them. Anyway, sorry, going off topic. Oh, okay. This book. I might talk about some spoilers in this. Go get the book, Maria V. Snyder, Poison Study, and then watch this. So basically, this book starts out, and it's this girl... And she's been in this dungeon for like a whole year, and they're to be taking her up because it's her turn to be executed. Because she killed somebody. Her name's Yelena. Cool name, right? First it's like, Yelena, Yelena, what the hell? But, now I love Yelena. Hence, Yelena equals hero, ha. Huh? I let someone borrow this, so that's why I wrote that, so they'd remember. Give it back to me, it's mine! She's like in the dungeons of, we'll compare this to like the king, the king's castle, except he's called the commander because it's more of a military rule than a king's rule. The food taster for the commander just died, so the law states that the next prisoner to be executed gets offered the job of the food taster for the commander. And I don't know if you know what a food taster does, but it tastes the food before the commander does, or the king, um, to make sure it's not poisoned. Yelena becomes the food taster and she gets trained by the commander's top advisor. His name's Valek. Valek is amazing. I love him. He's my favorite character in this book. Except actually that's a close one because I love Yelena because she is so awesome. Like she's so badass and she like don't you love Yelena? Um Valek is this like cool awesome assassin spy person. Valek is awesome and can solve any problem. I picture Valek as being hot um, so Yelena obviously thinks so. Do you picture Valek, like, with hair down to here-ish? It says he has longer hair, but I kind of picture it long, like, this sounds weird if you don't like Justin Bieber, but Justin Bieber long, not long, long, like, shoulder length, like she says. The whole time, she's food tasted. All these people are trying to kill her. She grew up in this orphanage. Yelena, when she was young, she thinks she was abandoned, and then she was picked up by this guy, Brazil. He had this, like, orphanage for children, lost and abandoned children. So once they turned 16, he would take them and start experimenting on them. And do all these really terrible things. So he did that to Yelena, and his son would help him do it. But they just kept testing her until one day, they're just like, she's useless. And they gave her to his son, Rhea. He sexually abused her and everything, and so that's why, she, in self-defense, she killed him. She's not sorry. I'm not sorry either. He was an asshole. So, Brazil, he's like, you killed my son, I want you dead. 
Elena's living in the castle, and all these people are trying to kill her. Meanwhile, she has this weird, when she's like in these near-death situations sometimes, this buzzing noise comes out of her mouth. Weird stuff happens. I don't know how far it is into the book. We find out that Elena is actually a magician. This country that they live in right now where the commander rules over is called Ixia, and no magicians are allowed. Like, they're killed on contact because magicians like, can play with your mind and influence you, and the commander doesn't tolerate them anymore. Now magicians are banished to this country below Ixia. It's called Sita. Sita. When, when Elena finds this out, she doesn't tell anyone because she's like, oh my god. The person that they'd send to kill the magician, if they found them, they'd send Balik. He's an assassin. She's living with Balik. And can you imagine if you found out and he was like, okay, I have to kill her? That'd be bad. So Yelena keeps that little bit of information to herself. Oh, let's talk about the commander's little test game. What do you think of her, like, glue with the, with the leaves so she blends in? Kind of like Katniss, like she could like, go from tree to tree to tree. Because she's an acrobat. She can do awesome flips and awesome everything. Cause she that's when, that's when we meet Ari and Janko. Do you love them? They're so funny. Who's your favorite character? Like, Balik or Yelena? Or someone else. But if it's Balik or Yelena, like, can you choose? Like, it's hard to choose. Ye Yelena kind of becomes friends with Ari and Janko. And they teach her self-defense. So now she can defend herself from all these people who are trying to kill her. Oh my god, what did you think of that night when Yelena got drunk and she like, hits on Balik? She's like, she goes to make a move. Balik's like, Yelena, you're drunk. And she, like, goes to, like, unbutton his pants and everything, and it's just, like, Yelena, one step too far there. That's Valek still. He's your boss. Obviously, I wanted them to get together, but I felt bad for Yelena because that's embarrassing for her. Oh, my God. What do you think with, like, Rand? Okay, in the beginning, I thought Rand was going to be, like, her love interest because I don't know why, but this was in the romance section at Barnes & Noble when I bought it. And this is, like, it has a love story, but it is so not a romance novel. It's like an action novel. Like, every other second, I'm like, oh my god, someone's gonna die. Who who categorized that? Who did that? I, I don't know. So at first, I'm like, Rand, oh, this guy's gonna be a love interest. But ends up, Rand is just an asshole. And what did you think when he betrayed her? What were you thinking when Yelena agreed to be paid for giving information about the commander to like some shady person. She agreed to do it just so she could find out who it was and tell Valik. And Valik, I, well, she doesn't know that Valik knows about it yet because she hasn't told him about it. But Valik knows because Magic Bitch her, told him. He's like all cold to Yelena for like a whole week and he's just like, yeah, whatever. Uh huh. What do you want? <laughs> I was like, what's wrong with the male? Like, I don't understand. And then it's so obnoxious, he just jumps to conclusions until Yelena finally tells him. He's like, oh, Valek, well, like, I'm actually going on this, like, spy mission tomorrow, um, if you want to come. And he's like, what? What? I love Yelena and Valek's little conversations. They have this love-hate relationship-ish thing. I love when Yelena kicks what's-his-name's ass. That military guy that tries to kill her, or rape her. I love that part. What's your favorite part of this book? There's so many things that happen. I can't even think of them right now because there's a million, like, wow, other things. Like, oh my god, the My Love. Like, how mean do you think it is that she has to taste the My Love and go through that, like, two-day hallucination thing? I mean, I thought that was harsh. The end. Did you see it coming? I did not see it coming at all. I knew it was something wrong with the Krill, though. Did you picture the Krill, like, fudge, like, chocolate fudge, like, little squares of chocolate fudge? That's, like, what she describes it as. And I was trying to like figure out what those beans were. I thought maybe it was something that we know that they don't know. I thought it was like maybe like cocoa beans or something. You think that's what it is, but obviously not. The butterfly fest. Okay, I called this. I was like, that's not even real. Why can't you think of that? Yelena looks at every single book and they never mention butterfly dust. Only Valik knows the antidote to butterfly dust. Like, please, come on. The end when they're like, she's just gonna sit there and die. I was like, okay, you have to get this out of your system and then you'll be done. And I was right. Called that one. Did you call that one? Her and Balik. He's like finally admits like he likes her. Delena said it like halfway through. She's like, I think he's sweet on you. And I was like, Yeah, Yelena. She's like, That's preposterous. And but she was like already in love with him, so she was like secretly like, I hope so. Do you think it was weird about their age difference? I guess it's really not that much when you think about it like today. But like she's supposed to be nineteen and Balik's supposed to be like. I'm thinking 31. How old do you think he is? Do you picture any actresses or actors for them? Like, I really don't because maybe because the movie isn't signed on yet. I just picture them in my head. And then at the end, it looks all badass and fighting everyone. And I don't want to give away too many details because I really want you to read this book because it's totally awesome. Oh, okay. How it ended? Were you like, 
Um, that's it. <laughs> I would recommend getting better. this one and this one at the same time when you're there. You're probably going to really want this right after. The next two books are even more action-packed than this one. Like Once you get into the magic study and the other one, it's like non-stop things are happening every second of my life. These books are just awesome. Like seriously, I don't know how to describe them because that's like my only adjective in life. So go read them. Tell me what you think. Leave a comment. Subscribe if you like them. Thanks for watching this book. Okay, that's what I'm going to say about Maria Steiner's Poison Study. I don't want to ruin it for you. That's why I'm not saying too much because I know a lot of people haven't read the books I'm talking about. It has magic in it and it has not magic in it. It has Balik in it. It has Yelena in it. Poison in it. Like how can you resist this book? I'm on Twitter. Follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash official twitters. CMR Productions with a Z. Thanks for watching, as always. I really appreciate it. If your friends like books, tell them about this. Thank you. Peace out.